This sailor swore never to have kids, but 50 years on, a stranger gave him a photo of his grandson. Gary Barnes was enjoying a quiet, retired life until one day he answered the phone to a woman he'd never met, and what she had to say was truly remarkable. Soon after the call, they met up, and before he knew it, he had an invitation to Christmas. Until very recently, Gary was just a normal, retired man living in Grass Valley. Age 78, he'd been spending most of his golden years simply relaxing on his porch. He particularly enjoyed admiring the deer around his house. In his youth, Gary had fought in the Vietnam War, and it was there that he met his wife, Carol. But the couple never had any children together. Since then, Gary struggled with his health a little, but it turned out that he was destined to stick around. That's because something huge happened to him towards the end of 2017. It all started with a phone call from an unfamiliar woman, but what she had to say to him changed his life forever. The woman had been trying to track Gary down for a very special reason indeed. The woman's name was Olivia Robles. Although she'd never met Gary before, she had a good reason to get in touch with him. That's because Olivia was nearing the conclusion of a personal research project, and she was convinced that Gary was the endpoint. The project in question concerned Olivia's ancestry. She was 50 years old, but she'd never known who her biological father was. In fact, she was 10 years old when she found out that the stepfather who'd cared for her along with her mom was not her real dad. Olivia was born in the Philippines in 1967, before she, her mom, and her stepdad relocated to the US. But it wasn't until 2014 that she decided to send her DNA to Ancestry.com to find out more about her family tree. Then, in 2017, Olivia was told by the genealogy company that her DNA had proved very similar to that of a woman in Alabama. That woman's name was Diana Barnes, the cousin of Gary Barnes. She too had sent her DNA to Ancestry.com earlier that year. Olivia, knowing that her DNA was quite like Diana's, decided to contact her. She was hoping that Diana might be able to provide some key information about her own background, and she certainly wasn't disappointed in that respect. The women spoke a few times and it didn't take long for Olivia to realize that Diana may well hold the key to her past. When Olivia mentioned that she was born in the Philippines, the two women were soon able to join the dots. They were able to work out the dates and, sure enough, it seemed as though Gary had been in the Philippines around the time Olivia would have been conceived. What's more, Diana sent Olivia some photos of her cousin that made perfect sense. Looking at the photographs of Gary, Olivia could see an immediate similarity. Olivia's youngest son was the spitting image of him, and with that, Olivia decided that it was time to reach out. It was a brave decision, especially because she was not sure if he would be pleased to hear from her or not. I was really nervous at first, Olivia told the union. I didn't know how he would react. However, she still went ahead with the call. She dialed his number for the first time at the start of October 2017, and the rest was history. Worried that the first phone call might be a little awkward or unwanted, Olivia was understandably apprehensive. But it turned out that she had no need to be. When Gary answered the phone, Olivia felt as though she'd known him for years. But of course, nothing official was confirmed until Gary sent off his own DNA to be tested. However, to no one's surprise, the results were as expected. Olivia was indeed Gary's daughter, conceived at some point during his rest days during the Vietnam War. It was an emotional time, but nothing was more poignant than the moment father and daughter met for the first time. Olivia had boarded a plan from Florida to go and meet her biological dad, and the two of them met in the arrivals hall of Reno Airport at the end of 2017. It's so hard to describe the feeling, shared Olivia. When she thinks back to the day she first met her father, she remembers feeling as though everything fell together in that instant. And it was a happy moment for Gary too. Although he recalls being a nervous twit as he waited to meet his daughter, he was delighted to welcome her into his life after all these years. When he learned that Olivia had children and one of them had a child too, he was overwhelmed to say the least. I went from nothing to a great-grandfather, he told the union. It's such a blessing. The father and daughter quickly decided that Gary must fly to Florida over Christmas so he could meet the rest of the family that he'd never known about. It just all fell together, said Olivia who had identified her father after 50 years of wondering who he might be. She described feeling as though she'd finally recovered that missing piece of the puzzle. Her mom had taken an inkling that Olivia would find her dad one day, and she was right. 
Please share this video with your friends below.